Photography is very important for crime scene investigation. Uh, if you're the head person responsible for taking photographs, uh, it's extremely important. If you're someone that's involved, being able to take good photographs is also a very important skill to have because it would be very helpful. Now, you do not need the most expensive of camera gear or equipment. We're going to go over some of the key um, photographs you need to be considering or taking when investigating a crime scene. So first off, the basic rules. Never move an object before photographing it. Uh, and this doesn't mean you just take one quick picture and move on. Uh, you can you may want to take it from multiple angles. You might be looking at uh, multiple uh, zoom-ins, multiple areas. You might be photographing, again, depending what that object may be. I think that's important. Even if you don't deem it important to begin with, uh, it's very important to take pictures before you move it. The key thing to remember, when in doubt, take a photograph, especially now with the digital age of photographs. Um, it's carry your extra memory cards, make sure you got plenty of space, uh, and just take a lot of pictures. Now, photograph advantages, the reason why we take a lot of pictures is it's a quick method of documentation. It's very accurate, generates interest, and can be used as evidence. Digital images can be enhanced and also stored. We want to be careful on you know how far we enhance them, uh, but the key part is they can be stored for long periods of time, uh, they can be backed up, and this is all important, especially if a crime scene gets reinvestigated uh, later. So the age of digital photography, you know, it could be the larger cameras or even just um, phones as well, uh, in some way documenting that, um, what was seen. So some of the disadvantages, though, of photography, um, so it's not all pros. Uh, they can be altered. That's why we want to be careful of, you know, modifying them. Uh, distortion is possible, and perspective can add an influence. So we want to create a scene that, you know, through modifications that didn't really occur, nor do we want to just capture one thing without maybe taking into account something else that occurred. They're, so they're not perfect, but they are definitely a major piece that's expected of documentation for crime scenes. So perspective is everything. So I mentioned this where we got to be careful on how we take pictures. You know, looking like the baby has large feet. Um, the person holding the plane is really just coming in for a landing. Look quick here. Looks like he has pig's feet and properly placed flags here uh, for the swimmer. So perspective is everything. And we want to be mindful, not just focusing maybe on one thing. We want to be focused on the entire scene to make sure we're not causing some sort of false um, story or false depiction of what might be going on in that image. So types of photographs, we'll have establishing photographs, mid, uh, medium range of photographs, close up and macroscopic photographs. We're kind of going to break those down and kind of they're all represented right here. Basically, we want to establish the scene. We want to get to an area where maybe someone came in this doorway, a close up so that it may have occurred and maybe more of a macroscopic view of maybe the details of what's going on there. So that establishing photograph depicts an overall view of the scene. Uh, this can include a broad shot, the buildings, the approach, the escape routes, witnesses, and etc. So here we're going to be focusing on here. But this just gives you an idea. This is, um, looks like a, a high school here. There's a car nearby. Again, we're going to be focusing on the doorway here, but it kind of gives us an idea of, okay, maybe someone could pull up here uh, very easily. There's park benches. Maybe there could have been witnesses. It's like the front of the school. So this kind of establishes the area. Getting a little bit closer, they said we're focusing on that door in this case. This is the medium range photograph. Shows the relationship between objects with the concentration on the immediate scene. So it shows the relationship of evidence in a given space. So while we're focused on the door, now that we're a little bit closer, we can see that there's some sort of water hose here. Um, that could have uh, played into it. Uh, that could be, someone could have tripped on it. Someone could have moved that. It could be um, soil that's left behind. It could be some sort of movement, some sort of trace elements. Or else the door is propped open, uh, so maybe there could be fingerprints on here. Uh, looking at the close proximity here to a corner. Um, so this, this all gives us ideas and that relationship of how these objects may interrelate. We get to close-up photography. This is, depicts a single item as evidence, and all, oftentimes these are included from multiple angles. So here we're seeing the door propped up with this piece of wood. Could take it from another angle, taking it. Uh, but we're really focused on just that one piece of evidence there. That maybe this was added by someone uh, to kind of allow for easy access in and out. The other are macroscopic, so again, not microscopic, macroscopic. This is an extreme close-up of very small objects in which the size of the subject is in the in the photograph is greater than life size. So here we're looking just as an example of a fly. You can see a lot of great details that's going on. It's great for this evidence, uh, this type of 
photograph is evidence for showing that fine detail, the fine wispiness, the fine hairs, um, can really get at something uh, that might be needed as trace evidence, for example. So all photographs need um, include a size reference to help establish that. So not always do we have this uh, advantage of having the ruler, uh, but we could have the need for putting a, a dollar bill that's six inches long or something of known size, could be a pocket knife or just uh, something, a quarter, a penny, something that we know the size of so that it can be determined and easily measured uh, so we get a, size, a general idea of the perspective of the size of whatever object we're looking at. So hopefully this is helpful in looking at our um, information about photography and how important it is for crime scenes.